Melissa Long, who can give us a bit more detail on what's moving over there. Melissa. Good morning, Lindsay. The Asian market is getting a bit tripped up today. You were talking about this uh, earlier in the broadcast that we're seeing the decline for the first time in some six days. The dip really led by mining companies and also the automakers after two reports simply missed estimates. One of the reports, the Japanese machinery orders, that one declining 5.4 percent. And then also we're seeing consumer credit in the United States missing expectations. On Wednesday, we heard from the Federal Reserve highlighting a sharp plunge in consumer credit and then leading to the sell-off that obviously reverberating here in Asia. Consumer borrowing fell dropping in morning trading as well after a five-day 2.5% increase. Lindsay? Thanks, Melissa. Good morning, Lindsay. We're going to talk about the markets in, first, in a moment. First, I want to highlight one of the issues that is affecting the markets today and moving them into the red, an unexpected dip, and for the second month in a row, Japanese machinery orders falling in February. It seems that despite overseas demand, there just isn't enough to nudge companies to spend, to spend on plants and equipment. So we're seeing that affect tripped up today, falling for the first time we have seen in six days. In addition to the missed report on machinery orders, we're also seeing U.S. consumer expectation, the consumer credit missing expectations. We heard from Ben Bernanke, the Federal Reserve highlighting a sharp plunge in consumer credit, that leading to a sell-off yesterday, that again reverberating today. In Asia, the consumer borrowing fell 11.5 billion. Much, Melissa, now in other Lindsay, a lot of red. We are more than halfway through the trading day, and it's really been red across the board throughout the day. The Nikkei is off more than 1% right now. We have Japan's bonds, however, climbing in contrast for the first time in five days. The Hang Seng has simply been bouncing around for much of the day, up and down, up and down, more than 12 times changing direction, still in the red right now, and more than halfway through the trading day, actually very close to wrapping up in Australia. The Morning to you, Mark. It is a big challenge, a lofty challenge for the U.S. Treasury Secretary, who will be meeting this evening in Beijing with the Vice Premier. It's a high-level meeting announced just a day ago in Beijing, and it comes just a few days after Timothy Geithner, also the summer of 2008. China, it is important to point out, maintains that its currency is not undervalued. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg News, however, expect a gradual pace of appreciation for the currency and that that would take place in the third quarter. Mark? Melissa, thanks very much. Good morning, Mary Ann. Two big stories in Asia that link to the U.S. The markets reacting to the U.S. Consumer Credit Report with unexpected figures and also the U.S. Treasury Secretary making an unexpected stop in China. But first, let's get to the markets. Tripped up a bit today, falling for the first time in six days. We had mining companies and automakers reacting to that U.S. data on consumer credit and also a report on Japanese machinery orders falling for a second month and slipping 5.4 percent. It's a sign that overseas demand, Miriam, isn't enough to nudge companies to spend on plants and spend on equipment. Miriam?